our dirty laundry. Today, our guests are Ten Lines, straight out of New York. Correct. Are you from New York? Originally? We're from New York, but we're not from from New York. Right on. Do you know what I mean? Where are you from? From from? From from. I'm from from Maryland. Uh huh. I'm from from Pittsburgh. So pardon me for asking, pardon me for thinking, pardon me for asking, pardon me for thinking. What were your previous bands, Jesse and Eric? Well, I had a band, it was called Professor Murder. We were never on this show, so you're gonna have to go to another website to check that out. <laughs> I used to play in this band called Don Caballero, and I played another band called Storm and Stress. Cool. I was a teenager back in the day. I am a huge Mighty Boosh fan. Oh. Julian Barrett of such fame has yeah. directed a video for you guys. That's correct. Yeah. How did that union form? Um, we were, we had never really made a, you know, like a real music video before. And when we were deciding how we wanted to do that, we um, sort of put a list together of people who we thought would be interesting to make a video. And he was on that list and somehow it got to him and he was, look, he had never made a music video before. And he was like, I love this song, I want to do it. And he wrote us this really weird and funny and interesting series of emails and we were like yes <laughs> do those things that you described in the vid in those emails and that's exactly what happened we were very you know, fortunate it was really interesting too because he's so like loved over there and um, he put together a really really talented group of people to work on the video and um, including an Oscar winning editor so, right on. That was great. Jimmy Douglas. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Is that a pretty good segue? Great segue. Has, out of nowhere. <laughs> speaking of Kanye and Justin Timberlake. Yeah. How did you last sue Jimmy Douglas, who have produced said acts? How did that union form? Well, he's a mixer, uh -huh. and um, he he did produce a few albums, but he mostly has mixed and he mixed with. Um, Timberland, which is where he did all those rap records, and he also did uh, Justin Timberland, Justin Timberlake, and um, honestly, we just we knew who he was, and we were like, send this record to him, and if on the off, if on the off chance he's looking for a project like this and likes it, it would be an amazing thing to try to work with a guy who's had a career like that, and that's exactly what happened. That's awesome. Yeah, it was. And we went down to Miami for 10 days and we finished the record there. And it was like, we had been working alone for over a year and writing and we really mix while we write stuff. So we were doing that just on our own in a bubble. And then we finished the record with like 10 really intense days in the complete opposite environment. So I think it's, it put a little magic back into the music. That Morgan Fairchild once tweeted about us. That was what? that was excellent. Yeah, it's rad. Yeah, it was a it was definitely the moment where my grandfather I think was most impressed with, with our band. Uh, he was a big Dallas fan, and uh, stuff like that. Only on Twitter. Only on Twitter will um, you experience Morgan Fairchild telling um, Chris Hayes from MSNBC that she can't wait to check out the band Tan Lines. <laughs> I want you to